Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this video, I'm gonna show you an easy way to have a video pop up inside of a light box on your Elementor website. To follow this tutorial, you will need Elementor Pro as this is done using the dynamic content functionality inside of Elementor Pro. So let me show you exactly what we're gonna pull off in this tutorial and how to do it. So I wanna have the ability where the user can click on an image like this and have a YouTube video pop up. So let me just show you exactly how this is gonna look. So as you can see, this is just a simple light box within Elementor and just has a YouTube video embedded right here. So this tutorial is gonna show you a really quick way to pull this off without having to build a whole new pop-up inside of Elementor. Now I already did create a really helpful video on how to do this if you are using the pop-up builder. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description and right up here, you're gonna see the thing pop up. But it's this video right here where I go into a lot more detail on how you can add more advanced functionality uh, to button clicks with a pop-up builder. So this is a different approach and I'm gonna jump right into the tutorial and show you exactly how to pull this off. So here we are on the back end of the website and I'm gonna show you how I was able to pull that off and I'm also gonna give you a few different other examples where you can have it where the user clicks on titles or anything like that and it will do the same functionality. So let's go to this image first and it's just a regular image uh, widget, nothing fancy. So if you go under link and you click on custom URL. Usually you would just put in your YouTube channel or something like that in here. But um, this is where the magic happens. If you click on dynamic tags, and if you scroll down to actions, you then choose Lightbox. So in the other example I showed you, if you're doing pop-ups, you would click a pop-up. But in this example, this gives you the ability to do it without having to create a full pop-up. So once you click that, you have to actually click it back again and you can see right here, they have two different types. You can do an image or a video. So in this example, let's do a YouTube video. And that's it, that's all you have to do. You just put in the URL, hit update, and let's see if that works correctly. Yep, so there you go. So it works perfectly and the user will be able to play it right here and skip along. And it just has a simple close menu. Uh, so this works with not only YouTube, but I also have a Vimeo, Vimeo link here. So let me pop that in there so you can see that you can easily just add in a Vimeo link. Same thing, hit update, go here, and there you go. So this is a Vimeo file. And what's good about YouTube and Vimeo is they have their own um, control panels for the videos. Now, this can also work with a self-hosted video but it won't show any controls down here. So let me show you exactly what that means. So if we go back into here and I have a self-hosted MP4 file, hit update, let's check this out. So as you can see, this is just playing an MP4 and I'm clicking around the screen right now and there's no um, video functions or anything like that. So I do recommend only using this functionality for Vimeo or YouTube videos. If you do want to have a self-hosted video, I do recommend instead uh, going the longer route uh, following this tutorial and use a regular pop-up window because when you have a pop-up window with a self-hosted video, you can enable the uh, HTML5 video controls so it will have everything you need. So this just has that one little limitation, but let me go ahead and add the same functionality to another widget or two. So let me go copy that Vimeo link back Put that back in there. So now the Vimeo's there. And let's say we want to have the title go to YouTube. So you can do it right here, same thing, where it says link. You just click dynamic, go down to Lightbox, click it again, video, and just paste in the YouTube video. Hit update. So now the title should go to YouTube. Yep. And the image should go to Vimeo. So there you go. That's it, I told you this was really easy to pull off. Um, so I do use this quite often on client websites whenever I don't wanna have to build out a complete uh, pop-up window for just a simple functionality like a video pop-up. So let's go ahead and just add one more uh, widget just so you can kind of see that this can work in a lot of different types of widgets. So I'm just gonna pull in an image box right here and anywhere that you see the ability to add a link and you see this dynamic tag, you can go ahead and add the light box function just like we did before. So I'll click that, go to video and add in the YouTube link. And that's it, I'm gonna hit update here. And so now this image box down here, the title should be a light box, there you go. 
So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release more Elementor tips like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.